All right, hello everyone. Today we'll be playing Liu Bei's Musa mode in Dynasty Warrior 6. I don't remember how good he is in this game. At the end of the second century, the Han Dynasty was approaching the twilight of its existence after 400 years of continuous rule. People who felt unease with the corrupt government launched a large-scale revolt under the self-proclaimed Grand Master Zheng Jiang. Self-proclaimed. The Han Dynasty formed a punitive force against these men who called themselves the Yellow Turbans. When a descendant of the Imperial Court named Liu Bei learned of this, he was moved to apply to be part of the Volunteer Army. This set off a chain of events which would have a profound effect on the history of China. So you say you are a descendant of the King of Songsha? Hey, Jin in the cutscene. And yet without someone who can very Supreme Commander. You are correct. Right now, I have no great quality or strength by which I can prove my worth. However, the land is in need, and my love for the people will not allow me to ignore that need. I ask you, may I join? There is a strength that resides not in a man's arm. We must overcome the chaos within our land. All right, I get your point. I'm going to place you in command of one of the volunteer units. He's getting already sick of his shit. Generosity. I shall do all in my power to repay your trust. Look over there, see? You've got a full complement of men now. One minute into the conversation, he's just like, okay, I get it, jeez. Level 72 weapon with just flash and thunder element, which honestly pretty good. The thunder is a really good element to have. Then again, it's a 72 on the skill weapon with flash and other effects. What does leech do? I have gauge recovers slightly when you inflict heavy damage. You will deflect arrows while attacking. Yeah, sure. What is this? Oh right, the yeah. The crappy horse I used to just kill that super horse that I didn't want. Yeah, we'll stick with Dawn Wave. The the best jumping horse in the game. Still having horrible flashbacks of that stupid grind I did for horses. It amounted to nothing. Bay is a combo move set. I just love Zhang Zhao's face here. Look at it. Look at how much of it is hair. <laughs> Yuan Shao still has the best jump set. Yeah, I doubt this horse can jump higher than he can. We will catch the enemy between us. So, you are dead. I'll crush you. It's annoying you just... Like, you're clearly supposed to combo with this triangle moveset, but you can't. Not when you're at one Rinbu. So let's see what his deadlock grab is. Pretty boring. Let's see what his square grab is. See what a square grab. See what a triangle grab is. See what a square grab is. There we go. Very simple to hit attack. And triangle. Slightly more impressive. I... I think both of his grabs got incorporated to his Dynasty Warriors 7 moveset. Is... Yeah, his running triangle, like... I think becomes his dash attack. Dash Warrior 7. Now let's be Please come with me. This is a moveset in Dynasty Warrior 7 that feels like it's taken the most straight from Dynasty Warrior 6. Try to start select grab. <laughs> now that we're playing on the PlayStation title, that will actually work. On the Xbox titles, that doesn't work, and you can't, like, soft reset. Oh, 
see what his Musa looks like. Oh, that's just straight up his Muso from uh, from Seven. The bridge is down. Now, all Liu Bei may be the only one that carried over his Muso. Though in Seven, it has more lightning effects going on and other shit. I believe part of his triangle combo becomes his like jump charge attack. And that's where seven and eight. That's how it's done. I have come for your head. Give it my own. Look, it is the triangle dash becomes his charge four. Okay. Forward. The time has come for us to build a new world. And it was one of his attacks. Congrats on 22.9k subs. Uh, thanks. I don't keep up with subs. I didn't realize how high I was. <laughs> I've been around like 20k for a while. If I wanted, like, a big increase, I'd have to do, like, a bunch of, like, popular, like, clickbaity videos and stuff to really get a bunch of views. I just can't be bothered. Definitely not be playing a, what, 15-year-old game? When did this come out? Yube has a really good special tome, the Lightning Volley. Arrows that can deal percentage-based damage, just raining down all around you. Very strong. Oh, ice is kind of a bad element for Liu Bei, I'm realizing. Because, like, if it triggers on his first attack, then he can't launch anyone to the air for the rest of his triangle combo. Guan Yu, you don't really have a lord right now. Unless he's talking about He Jin, I guess. Why aren't I using that spark? Captain, you just, you ban yourself right now. You can still talk, but ban yourself. I don't know how you're going to manage that. I trust you'll find a way. Sure, let's duel. Ow. Go on, poke him. Knock him back into the ring. There you go. It's nice to have that done in my favor for once. <laughs> the last render looks so silly. Just like whirlwinding his swords. Oh man, with a skill weapon, his swings are really fast. Just a blender, a wheel of death. <laughs> He's full triangle attack now. Okay, ends with a final shockwave. He's hold triangle. Another spin. Running triangle. Running square. Jump square. Jump triangle. Okay. Liyue's volley can murder people and the enemy. Yeah. It can be especially deadly on harder difficulties.
of the yellow turbans. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. His dash triangle is very satisfying to use. Just fly into a group of enemies. I can see why that particular move carried over into his Sun 47 moves up. Trying to grab Beyond Chi, but Peon's just wasn't gonna let that happen. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. The enemy is weakened by every base we take. Excellent. Your fighting is truly heroic. Feels weird to hear that line from South South towards the Ube. There's a lot of officers next to each other. I do like the Ube with the skill weapon. Just the speed is really nice. Yun always takes so long to get over Wood Chang Ven Chang. Find out where the flames are coming Stop. Knowing I didn't take over the space and then lock behind the gate. like element effectiveness goes I'd probably say thunder and then lightning that's what damn it <laughs> thunder and then ice and then lightning are the same thing only their leader Zhang Zhao was left true forward and uh what else is there actually is it just thunder ice and fire I thought there was more than that when I started to say that Try his standard weapon after this, though. The other standard weapon with more range feels with him. I kind of think that Thunder Element would still also screw up his uh, launching attack. His Thunder would prevent him from flying up, too, wouldn't it?
finished off this group pretty quickly. Let's go back and have a drink. Hmm, good idea. We will drink a toast to our victory here today. And we'll drink to the future as well. Master Guan Yu and Master Zhang Fei. I have been blessed to meet such good people. So far, I've been extremely fortunate. Master Guan Yu carries himself with a nobility of character that is almost regal. And although Master Zhang Fei lacks in social graces, he is a good man, and his strength in battle matches that of Master Guan Yu. But what of me? I know there is a way to achieve my purpose and my dream. But how can I when I rely on the strength of others? Hey, are you gonna stand around here all day? Let's get going. I must grow in strength to fulfill my dream of peace. That is how to save the world from chaos. How would you feel if you were just hanging out with your two best bros and then like two of you start walking away and one of your friends is just standing there in the back mumbling to himself about peace and everything else? <laughs> The base title is Negotiator General. Somehow appropriate. Oh, his, <laughs> his skill tree is just two swords. Nice. Some of these uh, symbols in the skill tree are really hard to tell. This one's extremely obvious. I don't want to upgrade for him. Uh, I can make volley better. Sure, that sounds good. What is that? Nullifies lightning attacks? That's good. Defense doubles from not down near death, that's okay. Speed doubles from not down near death, that's not okay. Get easier to encourage allies, that's pointless. Alright, looks like I've already gotten all the good stuff for him, really. I'll just go for this big life up over here. I'm gonna go for the lightning helmet in the gate. Oh yeah, I feel like this cutscene for Liu Bei was put, meant to take place, like, after Zhang Fei and Guan Yu's. Like, immediately after, if you remember them. Because they didn't actually do the, uh, the swords-up thing. Still wandering the land, Liu Bei took up residence under Cao Cao. It was there that he heard that Yuan Shu was scheming to claim the Imperial throne for himself to the court, and specifically Liu Bei, who hoped to revive the name of the Liu family, it was unforgivable. Under the condition that Guan Yu would stay with Cao Cao's army, Liu Bei borrowed a number of troops from Cao Cao and headed to attack Yuan Shu. Tell me, are you acquainted with a man by the name of Yuan Shu? Yes, by name, though I never actually met him. At the battle against Dong Zhuo, I think I saw him at a distance. Truly, some rumors have come to my ears, saying he has possession of the Imperial Seal. I hope that he has no plans to do anything disloyal with it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Master Cao Cao, could you lend, for a short time, a few of your horsemen to me? <laughs> the smile. So, you require horsemen, eh? I would not refuse you, not when you need my aid. There is a condition, of course. For a time, you must leave the man you depend on so much, Guan Yu. What's that? Guan Yu? I understand. Master Cao Cao. My brother asks that you aid his cause. He will require some of your men. Brother! There is no need to be concerned. All I ask is that you continue on your path. It really does feel like you're supposed to, like, play Liu Bei's and, like, Zhang Fei's and Guan Yu's cutscenes, like, all beside each other. You could probably make a fun little video, like, mining all the cutscenes in this game. Like, chronologically. At least all the ones that don't go into what-if territory. The Southern Watch Post, seven more enemy units defeated. 
15 minutes. At least nine units survive. Okay. And that's until you want to use main camp is taken, so I have to actually take the main camp. Now, one thing I'm not a fan of in this is, uh... Whenever you, like, play as someone that would already be on the map, like Liu Bei, for example, like, you're just a player. You're not an actual unit, like you were in other Dynasty Warriors games. So, like, in earlier Dynasty Warriors games, if I were as Liu Bei, then I would be in Miju's spot and I would have Chin Gui as a lieutenant, or sub-officer is what they were called back then. And, like, the better I did, the more my morale would raise, and, like, the better... Liu Bei's overall troops, and Shin Gui would perform in the battle. But now, that doesn't really happen. And it really doesn't happen in later games, when morale just matters less and less. Your self-proclaimed title mocks the glory of the Han. I shall be the one to mete out the Emperor's justice. Yeah, it's going to be extremely noticeable when we're not playing as the commander, when we're, you know, playing as force leaders. Gotta go from point A to point B. That's the real fun. Yeah. Since isn't as bad as that yet. All these strategists generic are just pyromaniacs. Let's just set their own bases on fire. Oh, come on, that should have killed you. Well, it still landed a grab, so it was fine. And a standard weapon gives Liu Bei a lot more range. Like, look at that good to a skill weapon. And he's still pretty fast. I think the standard's pretty good for him. There, there comes a point when, like, you have a certain amount of speed, you really don't need more. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this weapon, even though the skill weapon has the same attack power and other skills. I'm familiar with speed, yes. Unfortunately, I haven't found any yet. Although I'm dying to find some. Not my fault, though. I learned it from Tutsu. Like, half the people watching aren't going to get any of that.
I do hate the boring grab attack. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do hate the boring grab attacks. Like, there are some in this game that are so creative. And there's some that are Liyubei that are just like, jump and slash. Oh, it is nice that you don't have to be at max uh, Muso to trigger elements in this game. And you're the ones you do. At least until you get, like, a leveled up weapon. Like in Dodge Warriors 4, I believe it's like you get a level 10 weapon and then you don't need to hit that Musa requirement for for elemental attacks. Bye, Labo. Bye, Lieutenants. Still feels like soon says you get a cutscene when this stage starts. Or when he appears in this stage, not when it starts. Hey girl, what's up? Okay, nothing more beyond that, huh? His last Rimbu when he just like twirls his arms like crazy. Is that like a viable move in swordsmanship? <laughs> like what fighting style involves doing that? Is it? That's how it's done. 
Isn't Han Hao a, a way officer? I'm not entirely sure. I know he's at Mountain Ding Jun. for you on Chu, because why not? You want you also has lightning arrows. They actually dealt quite a number to me as I was approaching him. Some of them are way off search because he borrowed troops. Yeah, but uh, in Jing Fei's cutscene, isn't they like. Aren't they like. Aren't Li Bei's troops attacked or whatever? So it'd sort of be like Satso attacking his own troops. Oh, he's got a heavenly physique. Get out of here. Liu Bei defeated Yuan Shu, but Cao Cao feared him rising to power and secretly plotted to eliminate him. Beating back Cao Cao's assassins, Liu Bei safely escaped to Jing province with Zhang Fei and his followers. Afterwards, Liu Bei improved his reputation in Jing and was even reunited with Guan Yu. However, Cao Cao was leading his massive army there to destroy Liu Bei. Once again, Liu Bei continued his fight, bringing along the commoners and soldiers that revered him. Master Cao Cao watches the movements of the land very closely. He has prepared a response for anything that might occur. And right now, Cao Cao is looking most closely at Sun Quan of Jiangdong and Brother Bei. There is only one way to drive Cao Cao away. We must deal with Sun Quan. We have no choice but to ally with him. But why? Why is it that Cao Cao is so concerned about me? Sun Quan, that makes sense. But I do not even have a home. I wander from place to place. You don't understand your worth. Look and see. Look at how all the people have gathered to your side. Behold, that your fighting force. Cao Cao is so frightened of you. He is terrified of, the of the, that old man right people. there that can't even hold himself up. Is it true? That it's a strength to be feared? Can you not tell? Well then, my lord Guan Yu. I give you charge of our naval forces. I understand. Farewell, brother. Our paths will soon cross on the banks of the Changjong. So can I just win this stage? You be and the refugees reach the docks. Okay. And they lose if they're all killed, right? Yeah. So we've gotta get at least one pissant peasant up to the escape point. And you get bonus points if at least two make it. At least, hey, I can play the whole stage. 
Because it says Liu Bei and the refugees. Right? Didn't it say that? It did. So I can clear out the entire map. Why did he tell me to jump off the cliff? That is insane. I'm not going to do that. We must shake off this pursuit. Hurry to the docks and one you. Maximum jump! Lord Liu Bei, take us with you! We wish to follow All right. you and see a new world. Well now I'm down here. Come with us on our journey. Those who can fight protect those who cannot. Meanwhile, I'm just going for a walk. Bye everyone. At least some of the refugees must survive. This could actually be kinda bad. Man, <laughs> they're already dead. If I lose, this is on, Captain. To be fair, Souths, I would never expect this. Technically true, but they still have a massive advantage right now, Liu Bei. Alright, who else still alive? One over there. Let's see if he's okay. Actually, I'm right next to one. Should probably help him first. Heyoha getting his ass kicked by Joshu. You believe your wits are a match for mine. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. I have failed you, my lord. Please forgive me. Wow. Lord Liu Bei, take us with you. Shall you take it out like a bit? Oh, Zhang Fei not even gonna make it? Man, the game really expected you to, like, stand there and fight with them, huh? Well, this one peasant just running around in circles over here. <laughs> yeah, now we're fighting here now. Alright, this horse could be anything. This could be red hair. <laughs> Liu Shang is dead. <laughs> yeah, if he was with Xiao Yun. <laughs> Defeated Zhang Fei at Zhang Ban. Man. <laughs> Zhuge Liang gave up on him, he just left. Alright, who's still fighting over here? Clearly you have to stop Cao Hong. <laughs> Cao Hong was outnumbered, like fucking... 4 to 1. Oh, Yu Jin was here too. Still heavily outnumbered. Oh, 
Walking, rolling, dodging, son of a bitch. If you say so, Liu Bei. Like a mile away from the docks. <laughs> Redhead, you're outnumbered four to one. Then the Sevens, the odds. <laughs> so long, talking like Lubu or something. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shao Ba just let him pass. Shao Ba continues to suck. Even as a generic, he can't do his job right. Also, isn't this a bit early for you? Didn't you be like five right now? So how many peasants are still standing? One. All right, I should probably go help him. Yeah, should probably stop dicking around. I thought about going north and attacking those guys that uh, the three forces just showed up, but let's not risk that. And, you know, lose the damn stage. It is a miracle. In fact, just in case at any point this peasant dies, I'm just gonna just gonna save right now. Fuck it. Catherine <laughs> trying to justify the fort I took over is now holding off the enemy reinforcements. Never mind the two other forts along their path and the officer. Oh, Sai Mao strengthened the base. I'm not even going to touch. Good on you, dude. So effective. Glad you bothered. Dune just shows up with like the whole Shao family, and Shun Yu. He's an honorary member. Last remaining peasant at half HP. Ugh. Stop bullying Sai Mao. Never. I'll stop bullying Sai Mao when he's playable. The enemy is by every base we take. Empire does not count. Don't even say it. Men, we must hold them back. It's do or die. I just need to get this peasant over to the docks, and then I can kill everyone else. <laughs> Out of all the people, I wonder if it's about the Jiggly Ong to be the last man standing. I guess Guan Yu is also here, but he's just sitting over there in the corner, not really accomplishing anything. Should have a straight shot. I have 
What are the odds of Saimao actually becoming playable? Like, what does he actually do? After some mass genocide of everyone wearing blue. Hey, I actually got the 300 KOs. The first time I got that objective here. I'm the horse fleet. Why did it move? Alright, so that's how it should be spawning, like, right around here ish. You're already doing that, but okay. Immediately dropping boulders on me. I wouldn't see if they'll have any lines, but I guess not. Cell shows up to the battlefield and just gets sniped. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Really have no reason to take that base anymore. I guess all of the Allied officers are now just on guard duty for Liu Bay. Guarding Liu Bay's unit. Okay, yeah, most of them are. Some of them are defending bases, because why not? Guan Yu is continuing to just accomplish nothing. You fight alone? Are you brave or a fool? Let us fight now. Remember in Chang Bomb when the Yu Bei just charges Zhang Liao head on? And Li Dian gives no fucks. And Sao Hong just tore through Jiang Fei and Zhou Yu. Zhao Yun, sorry. Oh boy, a saddle that was worth using the volley for. Lydian, so about my uncle. God. That fucking scene in Dynasty Warriors 8. Man, when we get to Dynasty Warriors 8, that's... It's gonna be such an awkward moment. Still got a while before then. And so I guess even defeating every single enemy officer on the map, you still have to go to the escape point.
Oh well. Yeah, the defeat condition is the peasants dying, and the peasants are no longer on the map, so there is no longer a defeat condition. Aside from, I guess, Liu Bei dying, but, you know, I'm playing as him. Huh, it is weird that Wei still has morale. I guess the bases have morale. Or just, uh... Shu's morale is so low, I don't know. Can you see morale in individual units in this game? I don't think you can. No, you just see, like, up arrows, which doesn't really tell you a whole lot. Let's see how that horse moves so. Thanks for all your help, Guan Yu. Glad you're here. This escape is a victory for us. Well done, everyone. I can't even get on the boat. This victory is thanks to everybody's efforts. Think of streaming Strike Force eventually? I don't know. I've debated it, but... A lot of that is just very short stages, and a lot of it is very repetitive. High Musa doesn't really interest me. I guess I'll just go for the stat ups. Next trip plus five attack, why not? Chat. I, that's not possible. Liu Bei barely managed to escape Cao Cao at the Changjiang. Afterwards, he met up with Sun Quan. The two of them formed an alliance and repelled Cao Cao's navy that was invading the south at Qingdi. It was not long after that when Liu Bei occupied Jing province and set his sights on Yi as well. Yi was a fertile land protected from the elements, a perfect base for Liu Bei in his quest to rival Cao Cao and Sun Quan for power. But the ruler of Yi was another member of Liu Bei's own family, Liu Zhang. Liu Bei agonized over the act of turning against his own kin to further his goal. You're being foolish. You place too much emphasis on a name. You do realize that the land and the family of Liu are not the same thing. You have to stop closing your mind to that. What are you saying? Close my mind? Then help me understand what this road is that I've been following. I have always been proud of my connection with the Imperial Han. It has given me courage and purpose. What road should I take? A man with no name has none. What does a name matter? Now listen. You have before you an even more important road to walk, don't you? Look at the fine men who have fought by your side. Look at the people who have shared your wandering and your troubles. It's not your name that supported you. It is their strength and loyalty that have kept you on this path. Don't you know that? I should know it. They are each like diamonds to me. As you are to them. You shine like a guiding light in all of their hearts. Isn't that enough for you? This is a bit two-faced here. The, uh, Feng Tong talking about, ah, oh, name doesn't matter, and then, meanwhile, Liu Bei at Huang Zhong, or that, uh, Mountain Ding Jun's like, I'm Liu Bei, descendant of Liu Bang, king of Han Zhong, or some shit like that. He's all about his lineage and descendancy. So for Paint on to be like, ah, name doesn't matter. 
it kind of doesn't mesh with everything else he does after this. I'm not talking about actual history, I'm talking about in the game. It's weird to see only three enemy officers at first. Oh, thank you, Muscle Kid. Life insurance for slam dunking your son. Oh yeah, off screen, <laughs> Liu Bei just like took Liu Chan and fucking threw him into the ground. Man, I wish we got to see that in a Warriors game. <laughs> we must go on, even at the expense of virtue. Uh, I kind of like his his alternate outfit. Prepare the it's, got, victory. it's primarily white and black, but it's got red and, uh, like, the sleeves and the inside of the cape are green. And Zhang Zhang just here, Li Bei has no actual lines, like, acknowledging her as his husband. Or, as her, as his wife. <laughs> no, husband. Shang Shang wears the pants in this relationship. Disregard the fact she's currently wearing a skirt. Yeah, I could save Peng Tong, but it doesn't change anything like it does in other Warriors games. He's still just gonna be dead. Though it was also like that in Dungeon Warriors 5. Even if you rescue Peng Tong, he's considered dead. Though that at least does alter like the outro of the stage, so there's something to it. Here, I don't think it changes a damn thing. It's nice that Shang Shang actually has unique lines for Liu Bei. Peng Tong, do not die before you even trigger the cutscene. That's, you know, supposed to lead to your death. Curious, could I trigger that ambush before Feng Tong? Huh. If I go to where he gets ambushed. Let us move to a forward position. I will need your strength to achieve victory. Let's see if I can get there in time. Approaching from behind. Really grinds through a gate when he's doing his last rimbu.
Uh, it's like Paintong is already just making a break for it. Yeah, his AI is really trying to trigger that ambush. But I'm already here. Look. No, it triggered the cutscene because he got there in time. But I was in the ravine, like it should have triggered for me. Well, well, well. Also, Paintong is shot at because he's confused for being Liu Bei. Meanwhile, Liu Bei's right here. Are you lost? You didn't really think you could pass so easily through a road like this. I work for a greater purpose. It is a purpose that even I will risk my life for. What fools come rushing through a forest? This mistake shall be your last. To be fair, I descended upon it. And rush through anything. Alright, you're safe, Paint Dog. Barely even an ambush. Wow, it didn't even trigger the second ambush. Like, when Paint Tong passed straight through this area, it didn't trigger the second ambush. Because it didn't want him to get interrupted. The stage, the game tries really hard to get that cutscene to trigger. Well, the top right <laughs> looks to be in a bit of a precarious situation. I didn't sort of trigger all the ambushes and then just leave. How was the cape wrapped around his front? How did this happen? Physics are weird. easier to fight you when you're not on it. You know, thanks for actually complimenting me for that. Most people just call me a dumbass for fighting alone. I'll drop the saddle, so defeating him with the tome active didn't account, amount to anything. Stand in the 
way of virtue shall fail. How could I have lost? What strength does Liu Bei possess that can surpass that of justice? What was the notification for Ma Chao's voice line on the left side of the map? We must rouse ourselves for this fight! Is that because it's where he spawned? What are the other targets for this stage? I'm gonna take those two bases in 10 minutes. Maybe my allies can do that in one. Paint on doesn't withdraw. Okay. Nice, it took it quick. <laughs> it's a bit too late for that ambush, dude. I thought that one already triggered. Could have went back to fight him, but oh well. Can't tell him just riding off pets, Mark. Our path to the future begins here, from Shu. This victory is thanks to everybody's efforts. People tell me to go kill Ling Bao for some reason because he laughed. Well, it's too late. More defensive stats, why not? I feel sorry about Master Yu Zhang, but it's good Chengdu has finally fallen. Thank you. I know there would have been no victory without you. Were it not for your loyalty, I don't know how I would be able to go on. No one's here because they want to follow the name of Liu. I know we are here for only one reason. And that <laughs> only is now it shows Yao Yun's name. You are our lord regardless of what name you bear. It is your vision that holds us to you. I shall not lose my pride in my name. However, no more will I be prisoner to it. From now on, I shall fight only as myself. Together, we'll put an end to the chaos. How do you even get red hair in Dice Warrior 6? You don't. I'm just going to leave it at that. With Yu Bei's acquisition of Yi Province, the land entered a period of tripartite division between Yu Bei, Cao Cao, and Sun Quan. However, Guan Yu, the defender of Jing, fell to the scheming of Wu and Wang. Yu Bei lost himself in the depths of unimaginable sorrow. Declaring and <laughs> you just morning, dead off screen. Liu Bei marched his army to Yilin, west of Jing province. He had been fostering a three-part plan to join with Wu, oppose the traitorous Cao Cao, and unite the land. 
However, out of sheer rage, he cast his plan aside, becoming something truly monstrous. Uh, no, Aristocrat, you should not laugh. Because, as Captain said earlier, he's enforcing a no-laugh ban. So if you laugh, you will be banned. <laughs> yeah. It was awful, Lord. I saw it all. Commander Guan Yu, he met death at the hands of Wu. <laughs> Guan Yu. No. No. Okay, I'm actually laughing at that. We swore that we would walk together. I have lost him. He was the closest to me. The one who was most important. Can you fake just wipes a tear like the fuck? Tell me what you're waiting for, brother. We must take our revenge. I must do it. Please wait. The one who is most important. This is war. Meanwhile, Shang Shang, his wife. Baby doesn't give a shit, of, shit about his child, his baby. Doesn't give a shit about his wife. Only cares about his brother. And yes, Liu Bei's eyes were huge in that cutscene. The six units survive, so something amazing does not fall. Defeat all enemy units in 20 minutes. Ah yes, the commander, Guan Suo. <laughs> Harry Eagle saying the for my brothers quote. I, I should really just be brother at this point. <laughs> no plural. I bothered to do a grab attack to kill an enemy officer and just drop a fucking saddle or something. Something where I can get extra HP from, so why not even use the grab? Speed. Li Bei went on a dark path after his brother died. Oh no, the Wu forces are behaving suspiciously. I wonder what they might be planning. What could it possibly be? Does Wong Fu actually count as a commander? Would it lose if he dies? Yep. So when the ambush happens, I still have to go back and save his dumbass. Oh, that means Guan Fu is not normally in this battle as an ally for Xiu. That's weird.
Well, at least they lit the campfire for us. If you notice that, it's actually burning in the middle of that scene. So, you know, silver lining. They're reminded once again that we don't play as God Ning at Yi Ling, despite him being in the battle. you and his lines for the Ube. The situation is dire. Your health range is fast in this area. They're even stronger than I thought. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Uh, you were a sub officer, weren't you? That's why you're trying to run away. Kept pushing me away from Ganning. It was a lot of fun. The enemy is weakened by every base we take. True to your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Come as a boatman out here. The situation is done. We despawned. Apparently, if you get on like an allied boat, you can actually get right, ride it, for our and it'll move in the direction you're pointing. It's just it's rare to actually run across one of those. Ning is dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume all of Wu is going to die here. Yeah, I know he wasn't going to last much longer. At least his boyfriend died with him. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Amazing! We will have to display our strength as well. Eh, someone else can take this fort. If our base falls, we will have no chance of victory. Bring more men and reinforce the defenses. I can't hold out much longer. You're just lucky you're not fighting Cao so Hong. I'm 
might have had a little too much to drink last night. Meanwhile, Shang Fei going out like a bitch. Bay's arrows last a lot longer if you're actually fighting him. We weren't clever enough to overcome this threat. You're just fighting head on. So cleverness to that. You were with Jang Fei, alright? You knew what you were getting into. Probably the simplest stone sentinel maze. I don't know, maybe seven or eight has a simpler one. I really don't remember what those were like. Land, you asshole. That said drive back the Wu forces, but I think it was meant to say you have driven back the Wu forces. Seven is the worst one since it's just a straight line. Eight has a dark effect. Okay. I, have come for your head. I really don't remember. Yes, Masu dies. Masu will be forgotten. Nice of Coin John to just roll into my combo. He didn't have to do that, but I appreciate that he did. Real team player. Let's see if I get the better men to drop a tome. Yo, you have just been bitch, bitch, bitch for this entire battle. If Rock Ball is so bad, why do you keep getting hit by it? Because I'm bad. I'm worse. I'm terrible.
so feet. I will have to adapt my tactics to keep up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with Rockfall again when I play a South South. That's gonna be the next stream. Fortunately, not too many characters seem to have Rockfall. I think it's the least common tome. Maybe they didn't realize it was bad. Rockfall and Bali are the least common ones. Yeah, the concept art for Jotai actually shows him with a katana. So at some point they did intend for him to have a katana moveset in this game. I just never saw fruition. That was Jotai's death line, but he did not say it like he was dying. your feelings, you know it to be true. Sink One is especially annoyed Liu Bei is the one who beat him. Me mug one you at a barber getting his beard trim. Oh, actually, no, I was busy. Can you do it again? This victory is thanks to everybody's efforts. Fire is the least common? Maybe. Alright, all I have left are Muso increases. Oh wait, there's this skill, which is makes it easier to encourage allies. Okay. I guess I'll go for it, why not? Actually, I shouldn't have bothered. I only have one stage left anyways, although hey, that's a nice weapon to get. Why do you show me no honor? I am in bonds. Kill me right now. So, tell me the form of the vision you were striving for. Peace for Wu, and peace for Shu, peace for Wei. Leave the land to grow as it would do. Grow in peace, negotiations instead of war. And now your dreams are dead. My anger is still not appeased. I will never forgive you. Still, I know I must find a way to move beyond hate. So, from this day forward, you will serve my dream, not your own. You will maintain the peace in Zhongdong. Guan Yu, allow this to be our vengeance. I must stay true to the vision. It must be a path strong enough to include all. Except God Ning and Ling Tong, they're dead as shit. Oh, and Joe Tai. <laughs> I don't remember if Sun Quan, uh, or if Lu Xun said his death line or not when he when he was defeated. Didn't really pay attention. And Sun Quan had like unique lines, so I have no idea. Gun in a fit of rage, 
The Battle of Yilin led Liu Bei to a new spiritual state of mind. He realized that Sun Quan's vision of peace mirrored his own and decided to merely annex Wu rather than annihilate him. With the goal of peace so tantalizingly close, only Cao Cao remained. It was actually the drugs that led to that spiritual state of mind. Just, you know, for the record, the narrator just didn't want to say it outright. Intent on fighting it out with Cao Cao, Liu Bei advanced his forces to the Wuzhang Plains in northern Hanzhong. In response, Cao Cao, seeking to defeat Liu Bei, led his elite troops to attack the Xu forces. The two great generals challenged one another in one last battle for control of the new age. Cao Cao would provide a path, introduce strong principles, and nurture everyone's talents and abilities. It's a vision that could please the people. Ha! Huh. He's nothing but hot air. Even without the guy's leadership, the people can learn to grow without anyone's help. Right. That is correct. By working together, they can teach themselves the proper path. And yet... It assumes that they know what to do, but nothing is certain. But giving them hope and guidance is Brother Bay's task. That's why we're here, isn't it? To help him? I fear we have no choice but a battle. Cao Cao. Neither of us will bend, so one must break. Friends! Let this be the final battle that our poor land must face. We must grasp victory. Through our strength, the battle will be won! Okay, I thought the narrator said this is Wuzhang Plains, not uh, Hanzhong. But like, the cutscene looked like it took place at Hanzhong. Like, Wuzhang playing is like really uh, dark in this background. Uh, someone said to use heaven and earth. Captain did. Yeah, but it's it's worse. You just got this new weapon. It's, it's it's lightning and fine. We'll see how a power weapon feels. If it's terrible and I hate it, then uh, yeah, well, fuck you. <laughs> Jang Fei isn't even in this battle. Wow. And Guan Yu got a Wu Zhang playing. Like, Zhang Fei was, like, on the map. Along with the Yu Bei. <laughs> Zhang Fei really does not matter to Li Bei. <laughs> I think we have Zhao Yun showing up when he's not normally here. I think Zhao Yun's replacing Guan Ping. Not positive. Pursue them too far. Let us watch and see what they will do. Ah, enemy. Ah, escape. That was that shockwave attack my horse can do. It was so useful. You must not go off Don't like be three percent of Shao Hei's total health. Sucks. Well, it's too rainbow, but it still sucks. Oh, nice of Xiaohu to just come and help me. I bet he's on bodyguard duty. I bet his AI is just set to follow me directly. Oh, hey, lasting the longest here. Despite being the first one I fought, I didn't get to kill him. Oh no, they're set to move. 
guess it was just coincidence they came to follow me. They also had the bright idea to just jump down from the mountaintop. Officer Tite was originally intended to use spears. I think this is the only cutscene we see it with a weapon. tell much of a speed difference, despite it being a power weapon. So not having Thunder Element is certainly worse. Type intended to have uh, more range than power. I thought power was supposed to have like the most range. Yes, yeah, definitely got less. Weon was complaining, but he already defeated the dang guy. It's almost dead, though. Jehovah went out like a bitch off screen. I am noticing Liu Bei's uh, square attacks breaking through guard more often, though. Like, more than any other character I've used with the power type weapon. Maybe he behaves differently depending on which character it's equipped to. Yeah, I'm having a much easier time just, like, plowing through enemies with this weapon. But it may also be because Liu Bei just attacks, like, much more frequently than other characters. Just as I planned, Wei Yang, it is time. You and our reinforcements must take the enemy camp. I fight for you, Bay. Wait, those who 
Yeah, for just about every other character I was using, even when I used power type weapons, they weren't able to break through the enemy's guard before they would counter. Or again interrupted. Hello, Shinji. Goodbye, Shinji. Go for a swim, Selfie. horse ruining combos by running into me <laughs> so I'll be just surrounded Slow. Don't want to save here. Yeah, I'm just Deep inside. I was just attacking enemy officers in front of me. Happen to be along the path. It's true, Muso quote is nothing personal. I missed the for my brothers line he had in Dance Wars 5. Much better. Nothing personal is like that fucking uh, Edgelord meme. <laughs> nothing personal, kid. Teleports behind you. Should be some help up here. In the base of nothing else. Enemy strong me. There we go. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. I saw a notification earlier of Simi Xiao breaking off from Simi Yi and then just saw his defeat notification like a minute after. So I guess power types don't give more range, although I could have sworn that they did. Maybe that's like standards benefit that you have more range. That would explain why Sing Chang Chang's uh Chang Chang only got an extra arrow for standard. And her strong weapon didn't. I'm not doling your fucking lieutenant. You 
gonna challenge me to a duel, at least let it be you challenging me. But yeah, and stop becoming self-aware. particular one that one officer is fighting in. Not the main camp. Definitely not that one. Let's not fortify that. That sounds essentially just like, nuh uh. I didn't actually mean to kill Sao Sao that quickly. I wanted to fight all of his other officers, but. This was a clusterfuck. I couldn't really tell who I was attacking half the time. Oh, CBE died during that mess. I just kept activating tones and musoing. And the game chugged to keep up with it. The enemy is weakened by every base we take. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Friends, thank you. It has been a long and difficult road, but the chaos has fled. Now, let us walk in a new and peaceful age. This victory is thanks to everybody's efforts. But mostly mine. Yay, we got the war drum skill. We can rally our allies better. Raid. something new bamboo sprouts just put them in came out well I think it really adds something to the taste your highness you're not supposed to be going off by yourself please forgive me Xiaoyun. funny but I find that this old marketplace is a lot more comfortable than the Imperial throne will ever be I can tell the calm and peace on the faces of these people is the vision of the land my lord worked so hard to create. Did you call us lord? Uh, your imperial highness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah. The sun feels so good out here today. <laughs> Will you be a true dynasty warrior? Sure, why not? Yen, I don't think you really did anything to deserve that extreme title. I 
<laughs> Xiao Yun just burns alive. <laughs> Those buns did seem that specially hot. Like, I probably wouldn't have bitten into it without waiting for it to cool off first. Who does he mean by us? He's using the royal us, like the royal we. Referring to himself all fancy like an emperor. What do you mean? He started a new dynasty. Well, you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> What's God name's excuse? He didn't start shit. Oh, wait, he did. A dynasty of pirates. <laughs> yeah, both those check out in hindsight. Grind. No, that's not happening again. I uh, set up like 2 a.m. one night grinding horses just to try and get something decent out of it, and both of them were shit. If I happen to get both a horse with both uh, eyes that consider the world and a heavenly physique, then sure, I'll grind that one up if I just so happen to get one. It's not gonna happen. I'm definitely not gonna go out of my way for it. No more than I've already attempted to. But yeah, let's see, who should I play next? Uh... We'll play the Yao Chan stage. I don't know who I'm gonna play yet, so I'll just set it on hard. It has some characters that are leveled up now. There's Wan Ping, that's Ma Chao. Yeah, there's Yuan Chao. Have I played Yuan Chao at Matt's level yet? I'm not sure if I have. So, sure, play Yuan Chao. Oh, actually, if I'm gonna do that, let me back out and make it harder. If he's at max level, it's just gonna be too easy. Egg's max level, I guess. Fuck it, chaos. If you're suggesting I play Zhu Zhu, you may as well not even speak. Because I'm not going to do that. Nothing with what knowledge you asked me to do that. Eh, I like I like ice better than fire. Come on, Don Wave, you stupid fucking jump horse. What's the objective here? Get forks, ten more enemy units, take all bases. Okay. Alright, this is one where Lubu holds off a bunch of enemies and Dialchan just sort of takes over the enemy main camp all on their own. Yuan Chao's alternate outfit is pretty cool too. Like the black looks really cool. Get some rest, which means that we'll need that castle over there. I will now drive out those who control the castle and take refuge in it for the time being. Well, there went the enemy officers. His lady, Yuan Chao. Fucking rockfall. Enemy 
see. What is the... Oh, Stargus. Lulu withdraws. That's a defeat condition. So it doesn't even matter if Yao Chan dies. This is not fun. I'll just play on Master. Like, if I knew where all the ointments were, then I could get to Matt's Rinbu immediately upon starting a stage. Sure. But you just get your shit kicked in. You're not at fighting at match Rinbu. We must shake our pursuers. Damn it, I forgot rest. my horse. Which means that we'll need that uh, why do they make this game so awkward to play? Why does it not remember your horse? and get some rest, which means that we'll need that castle over there. I propose we drive out those who control the castle and take refuge in it for time being. Come, you oh, was there no save option on Chaos? Like, you just couldn't save at all? Huh. I didn't notice that. If that's the case, I'm definitely not playing Lulu's story on Chaos. Fuck risking that. Chow's volley definitely lasts longer than the Ubeis does. My forces have taken this base in my name. A lot longer, honestly. Alright, I think I've done enough for the Chan. Let's go fight with Lubu. Clothing and beast and trucks. What about this? Awesome. Tomes that uh, do stuff like volley, like probably Rockfall and the Fire one as well, just really drain the frame rate. <laughs> Man, it lasts so long. That's how it's done. Press the attack! 
<laughs> Lubu saying whoa, like genuinely impressed. downside to, like, having a moveset that specializes in tome usage is that you can't really control when you get tomes. Defeat Bannermen and Guard Catsons, and sometimes I'll drop them. Or get 300 KOs. But you can't do any of those just whenever you want to. said you want Xiao Zheng, hey, fair enough. How could my beauty have fallen in such a way? Yet another enemy officer bows before me. I should really say I'm the horse to add under gate. Amazing! We will have to display our strength as well. Like you basically never want to just be walking around on the map. The other time left her own devices. Is it really in trouble? But will take forever to actually make any progress. And Jung the out with her too. Shit, Jangji's breaking through. Oh, there's Salpi. Think it took long enough? Allow me to put you out of your misery. What? There's still more of these vermin? I know, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, Lubu is just like, fuck you, I'm going out to the Alchon. You son of a bitch. Ice arrows. Very well. Let it begin. Allow me to test your results. I want to gather up the officers before I activate my bow. Fighting on top of sand baths is very awkward. How could you do this to me? Yet another enemy officer bows before me. Huh, killing all the people that betrayed him, isn't he? Yet another enemy officer bows before me. I suppose death is something that I can overcome. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. Hey, why am I even bothering picking up ESP? Is that max level? It literally does not matter. What did we run off to? Yeah, went straight for Diaoshan.
Could ambush that one, but eh, it's not really worth it. Go fight this big mass of officers instead. I have come for your head. They did not last long. Hey look guys, I finally got red hair. Here it is. This totally counts, right? What a duel. I'll let you guys take over the base. Who triggered that ambush again? This is Zhang Ren. But he's way up there. Is he the commander for the stage? I guess he is, technically. Thanks, Lubu. The tenants are very annoying. Yet another enemy officer bows before. Well, Lubu just coming in out of nowhere off screen with the save there. Saw you on show getting bullied and he wasn't having that. Didn't I just defeat you? Oh, Liu Han, okay. Not Liu Shun. said that line if Yao Chan had been defeated. Man, that was close. If it said if his eyes consider the world. Let's see. Joe Kyo is also max level, so I guess I'll play her next. Uh, what castle for her? Or what stage for her? Do another Lubu stage with that. And we can see her alternate outfit. Yeah, I'm good with the weapon she has.
get this for this. Open the gates, take all bases. Okay. This is his first time meeting Zaren. I've had this to her full move set, but at Rimbu 1, it doesn't matter. Any animals on this stage, you're supposed to be able to befriend them because of skill for that. Even if you block an attack, if it breaks your guard, it can lower your Renbu. Man, that is unfucking forgiving. Crew speed. I hate that she swings so slowly for this attack, because there are other characters that just like are constantly rapidly attacking. She's barely waving her arms. What <laughs> I didn't play on Chaos, she's just getting her ass kicked. Cannot get her into up. Nice if you guys actually tried to attack me. 